We are at the Cannery Gallery and we're having our opening reception for Exploration and Discovery, a group show for our department. We um, wanted to put on a show of our advanced work in our department since we've been, we're a fairly new department for the Academy. We've been um, only about a year and a half uh, separated from the sculpture department and we've been growing so fast and producing a lot of really interesting work that we wanted to get everybody, get it, the public a chance to see. Uh, so we thought it would be a great opportunity when the space opened up to um, to show basically the things that we've been working on, which is really exciting. I've always been creative. I've liked to paint and draw and make things, fabricate things, like upcycle things. And uh, I started experimenting with jewelry a little bit only because of the way that jewelry makes me feel when I put it on. It's definitely an emotional connection that I have with the piece. You know, you might wear this really extravagant necklace and it can make you feel really elegant or you can wear like something really big and heavy and you feel really like powerful or tough. So I wanted to make pieces that could ignite an emotional response to somebody and it would be wearable art. So. I pursued this. This is the very first show and I think this gallery and this show is re um, ready to explain uh, the people how, uh, how the jewelry can be different. Yeah, it's not like a um, fine, fine art jewelry or com uh, other commercial, commercial jewelry. It's just really exciting to be, you know, part of the larger metalsmithing community and doing this um, as students where we have a lot of freedom to be um, kind of avant-garde in some ways and you know kind of push um, push those creative boundaries. We really need a lot of passion to to make this piece because I have I have to create each piece by hand like layer the, the paper pulp for each one and then you have to wait until they dry and also I need to string single each one by myself and also I got like a wood beads in between for each one and make sure they are spaced off each other, you know, create some volume. I think that this program is really special compared to a lot of other programs that are related to jewelry in the sense that not only can you learn the techniques that you would need to succeed as a jeweler in the industry, but it, there's also a lot of creative freedom where everybody's making what they really truly want to make and the work, everybody's work is different and they're pursuing what they want to pursue. There's lots of development in the artistic aspect of what, the, what we're making, not just making, you know, learning just the technique and making things that everybody else can make. So I think that makes this program at the Academy special and why I came here. So uh, I have uh, two pieces here in this display case and um, my con my uh, core concepts um, are the uh, perfectly imperfect. I call it. Basically, I want to through my jewelry. I want to like redecorate the body part and um, kind of celebrate the imperfections, not hiding it. Uh, through my jewelry, I want to make people feel beautiful, feel confident. Yeah, that's my main concept behind my piece. I think everybody who enters the program goes through this process of exploration and kind of trying to figure out what, what it is that they want to make. And the whole time that they're here, they're exploring themselves and their abilities and discovering a lot about themselves in the process. I can be really creative with, with the art, you know. I feel like jewelry have more space for me to talk to. So I guess that's why I really enjoy working on jewelry. You know, can really touch it and then working with something tangible. And I think that's the most attractive part for me.